<laughs> just what I did it's the reduction. <laughs> we got about like, three cars. Uh, right, hello all. Uh, what it is? Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> get in the video for us. Uh, oh, oh just wait, get on over. <laughs> get on over. Right, more. <laughs> See you later. Not. See you later on. Yeah. Right, so I've just I've just finished my shift. Um, well, I drive the buses. No, it's not really necessarily related. It's anything. It's just for drivers in general. It's a kind of phenomena that I've just kind of spotted there. Something to look out for regarding traffic lights. Now, it was something, it was coming down. I, I wouldn't actually say the vehicle was driving down in, but I had the green light. Now, there was a vehicle coming down. I was driving a vehicle and there was a vehicle coming down and they had to stop because it was a red light for them. I had the green light, I had the right away. Now this vehicle was coming down at speed through the red traffic light. That was fast. Oh yeah, yeah. It was going down and if it side swiped it, it would have been a mess. Uh -huh. No, I saw this car, well, just the vehicle coming down and I anticipated it. It wasn't going to stop and it ran the red light. Now, I thought, I've looked at the lights, the traffic lights, and there's a certain, uh, I don't know, a phenomenon. There's, a, there's a certainly something that shouldn't be it's the way it's been positioned on the pole now it's it's like that the driver if they've fixated on this green light and, and they may have thought that they had the right away it's because it's at the angle of the traffic light now i'm going to go to the traffic lights and i'm going to try and show you uh just what i'm, what I'm talking <laughs> about like light <laughs> oh yeah try to get the light the bars on me top there of the lights it does yeah oh by the way this is uh strewn he's got Hi. his channel as well a youtube channel um, Just like Chris's, it's named under my own name. <laughs> it used to be yeah. what was written on my jumper, it used to be Strewn Vlogs. I got that custom printed, but now it's just simply Strewn Jennings. <laughs> it's a good channel, so. I'm doing it long enough. Yeah, it's been doing eight, it eight years. Eight years, eh? Yeah. Uh, 16th of December 2015. I've only been doing it for probably three years this <laughs> April. So, right, you've still got enough subscribers yeah, anyway. Yeah. So. You'll see a lot more of us, <laughs> Kian included, but he's over there. And together, yeah, he's over here. So. Um, so, I think what we'll do is we'll go and get up to the traffic lights and we'll show them just what I was talking about because it is quite a dangerous thing. That so, is, yeah. I'm going to highlight that. Just it's something totally the wrong for. angle. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you're driving, you should see your light straight ahead, but this exactly. one's just angled way off to the yeah. side. Yeah. You'll see what I mean. I'll go and show you just what I'm talking about. To look out for that. Just something to bear in mind if you're driving uh, a vehicle or anything and you come to these lights. This is just something to look out for because. It was kind of, could have been a near miss, it could have been nasty, but I saw this vehicle coming down and I said, oh, it's, not gonna, it's not going to stop, it's not going to stop, so, and I think I know, know there's another light like that again, yeah, uh, travel, traffic, traffic light crossing, pedestrian crossing, so, again, I'll show you that as well. Right, so I'll go make my way up there and highlight this, to get an idea exactly what I'm talking about. The cake. <laughs> oh, that's my cake from my break earlier on. <laughs> got two cakes for the price of, well, I'll show them viewers. No, no, come on, I'll keep this. This is a serious note, so I'll, I'll show you this first. But then what's important, but I'm trying to make the point, you know, not that later because this is quite important, right enough. The Gandhi's traffic lights. <laughs> got a point off. Not early. <laughs> That's my uh, supper for later on. <laughs> <laughs> After what? So you just park it up there. So I'm at the car park next to. This is sort of like in the centre of the two sets of traffic lights that I've noticed. Well, I've noticed this phenomenon before, so I'm just going to highlight what I'm talking about and show you what to look out for. Just be aware of this. Um, if you're driving and you happen to see this with traffic lights, just be wary um, because it could result in other traffic coming down thinking they've got the right of way. So I'll just turn this camera around, I'll try and get it so that you'll see just how the angle of this traffic light is. That's just the, the crossing. But where I had the near, or what could have been a nasty accident, is further up there. So I'll show this one first, as soon as doing a vlog as well on his channel. So, so <clears throat> this is the pedestrian crossing, and the traffic lights on the other side of the road here. See, I can't really stand on the road to show you that, but. <laughs> that one there is pointed at an angle. Now I've seen this happen on other sets of traffic lights on uh, other occasions over a period of time. And it is 
quite dangerous. Now I'm being careful, it's quite oh, it's after midnight, it's no hard line of traffic. But it is angled at the wrong angle. So this is just an example of what I'm talking about. And I'll go up to the road together. So the vehicle will come down. So I don't know what the heck what, that, what that's all about, why it's like that. The traffic light should be visible for the oncoming traffic, clearly, and it shouldn't be at an angle. There's another point I'm going to make as well while I'm here. So I'll also say, this isn't where I had what could have been the accident with the car going through the vehicle, going through the red light. That's further up, I'll show you that in a moment. It's just walking distance from here. But the other point I'm going to make as well regarding these traffic lights, if you've got a windscreen that has, I don't know if, I don't know, I'm just going to mention it. If you've got a windscreen that's got a sun visor, like the green tint at the top of your windscreen, that actually filters out red traffic lights. So it would appear that the, the light isn't showing. I've noticed this on vehicles. I'm not going to say which, but I've noticed this. I don't know if you're aware of that. Also, there's, um, if you've got a windscreen that's got the green tint on the, top the of tint it? on it, yeah, uh -huh. you know that that actually filters out the red traffic light. No, as well, that. yeah, and it could be very dangerous. So I'm just pointing that out as well because I don't know if it's the red frequency, if it's the LEDs or whatnot, but it's certainly there's, there is vehicles. I won't say which vehicles. I won't just say a type that I'm just going to say that I've been. <laughs> there are vehicles that has yeah, the green are. tint at the top, and it could be dangerous. So just be aware of that as well if you happen to have that, or if you happen to be driving uh, any vehicles that have that has this green tint, sun. The uh, sun visor tip. Oh, you're doing a vlog as well. Aye. Yeah. So, I was throwing ahead, but now I switched. <laughs> I've got a longer arm as well. <laughs> yeah. I can go way out. Yeah. And still, your camera's somehow really That's a good arm that you've got. Uh. It is. <laughs> Not always, but it is. Look at that, though. You can see, though, just how offset the traffic lights are. No, um, I've turned thought... it around and I'll show you just how bad that is. And I'll, then I'll walk up to where that vehicle came down at speed because it came through that tunnel there. So I've done this in and show you just how offset they've set. And they've not changed once. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the pedestrian crossing, so they hit the red, they hit the button for it to, to change. But, I like to do that, actually. <laughs> um, the, it's just something I've noticed before quite a lot, quite a lot over a period of time. Uh, it's not just in this area, but in other areas as well, I've noticed this. And... As I say, it's something to look out for. I don't know how it could get to that, but it's quite a dangerous thing. That's String going over to do his pressing red light for his channel as well. So as I say, I'll always press the light, so I'll show you just how offset that is. I'll do now is I'll make my way up to where the traffic lights were at this junction. I'll head up because well, we're on there. Like, you, well, you probably wouldn't have been watching necessarily, but yeah. But um, it was I some again. Oh no, no. I mean, when I was out earlier, you were you were in this vehicle that I was. Oh right, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> but I you did, were. I did see it happen because I just heard this beep. I was like, oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I see him just going. Ah, I blasted on. Well, I got a fight. You know what I mean? I see this person. Have you ever made a video on this? Oh, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> that's just <laughs> something else he's putting on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I certainly um, I did blasted on like you know. Because it could have been nasty, but I saw this coming. I mean, not going to name the the. I can't. They wouldn't do that. But it was. I knew what was going to happen, so I just held off and I just made it aware. You know, made this driver aware that um, it, you know, just a horn and a bit of light, and just a, you know, waking up. It could have been nasty. You know, uh, you don't use a horn as a retaliation. It's there as warning device. So. 
That's all the horns for is for warning uh, oncoming or other road users or other uh, pedestrians. It's a warning device. It's not for retaliation. So um, I prevented uh, I prevented what could have been a nasty accident. So I'm just going to walk up to where it was. Oh, it'll be a long. I'll just be a couple of minutes. Right. Oh, they're, they're just waiting there. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just walking up to there, so um, yeah, it could have been, it could have been nasty, because running a red light is very serious, uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the drivers coming down would be a hundred percent to blame, because there is an issue with that traffic lights. Now it's been like that for a while. Um, it's something that really should be dealt with and addressed because when I think about it, I thought back of what happened and I looked at that and I noticed the other set down, down there has, has been altered. Uh, they weren't like that earlier, so I just noticed that tonight actually. But the ones up here have been like that for a while and as I say, I've noticed this before in other traffic lights elsewhere around the city. So. Right, so I'll just put this off for now till we get there. So I've also noticed that this is up here. I've noticed that these also uh, lights are knocked out of alignment. <laughs> no, it's the middle of the night, so I could quite safely stand there and uh, show you what I mean. Right, so you'll see the red light probably okay, but I can assure you that is angled that way. Now it should be facing this way, so it's facing there. Now I don't have a problem with getting down there because I know that these lights are red because I've got this one. Now the vehicle coming down, not that one obviously, but earlier on I'll have to pause this for a moment. So the vehicles, you can see that that light there is angled too much that way. Now. The vehicle coming down would have probably thought that the right away because that traffic light was angled It was shown green for traffic coming down this tunnel Now this vehicle was coming down at speed You know, not necessarily speeding, but it was doing about It is a 30 mile an hour limit But you could bet your last dollar that most of the vehicles going through there will go 30 plus Maybe 30 plus, you could pretty much Because I've done it I've driven through there at 30 plus. Uh, I'm not meant to, but I have. 30 plus, meaning like maybe 35 or something like that, 38. I shouldn't, but it's a 30 mile an hour limit, but regardless of it, anyway, the vehicle coming down there was was probably doing a bit, you know, the, just by the very nature of the tunnel. It's 30 mile an hour limit, but every vehicle I've been behind, or, been, or behind me has been doing the speed about 30, all right. It is technically 30, you know, you have this 30 mile an hour, you get 10% plus 3, about 2 mile an hour, all that malarkey, but irrelevant, it really is technically 30, you should do 30. It's not silly speeding like, you know, 80 or something like that, well some probably accelerated to some crazy speeds. I certainly never have done anything like that. I've been going through there, I mean, vehicles now will be doing probably bang on 30 because I'm standing here with a camera looking up there and they're probably thinking in the corn or something like that, so, well I'm recording but they'll be on their... We'll be wary. But anyway, enough the point and kind of drifting off point. The main point is that these lights, if you're ever driving a vehicle or anything and you come across lights, if you see the green or if you see the red, maybe just slightly or partially, beware for traffic coming down there because they could be fix, focused, fixated on a green light and just assume that they've got the right away. This vehicle earlier on was steaming, well, okay, it was doing. About 30 or whatever, 35, as if, as if it was green for them, let's put it like that, they were going through at speed as if it was green, oblivious, and I was coming down there, and I got to about there, I saw it was, I saw what was going to happen, like, uh, you know, but everybody's slowing down now, because I'm standing there with a camera, and that makes people wary and nervous, so they will be doing the speed limit, you could pretty much guarantee if I wasn't here they'd be doing the usual, you know, Whoever does bang on 30 on a road like that, technically it is, but anyway, this vehicle was coming down, it's, 
as if it was green for them and it just came right down there. I was coming down here. I won't say what I was driving in like that, but I'll just say I was driving a vehicle. And you can see just how much of a corner that it is. Right? I had the right away. And that's really it. And it's just coming down there. And I was coming there. And I just knew this vehicle wasn't going to stop, so I just held off and just took it the horn and flashed the lights and well, it was a bit, I got a bit of a fright, but just to make them aware, although it's, it's technically horns only for a uh, warning device, but it's uh, just maybe waking them up and say, look. But then it's not entirely their fault because the traffic light is angled slightly over there, which means that the green is going to be partially sh showing green for traffic coming down there. Now, there should be absolutely no green whatsoever showing down for any traffic coming down there. It should be just red and no green shown at all. And that's possibly the reason why this vehicle came down there just as if it was a green light. Now if I was to come out there, I had the right away. I had the green. The green was shown for me because the repeater one, you know, I know the road anyway, but they had the green light. I could tell with this one it was green. Uh, as you can tell, it's not really necessarily, you couldn't guarantee that they're all going to do 30. But, uh, Let's put it this way, most vehicles will be going there 30 plus, I could pretty much bet that. You might have heard that, right? A lot of people, you could probably get an idea what I'm talking about, right? Boy racer. No, if I was to come there with a right away, that'd be a side swipe, and it could have been very nasty. So, so as I just say, I stand here in the middle of the road, but it is the middle of the night and there's no traffic, and I know this road very well, and they're not distracting any drivers. In fact, if they're standing there, if anything, it was probably making the driver slow down because you're standing there with a camera. Uh, not filming them, obviously, and just filming the traffic lights to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so if you're a driver, just, I mean, that, by the way, is just ridiculously out of line. Now, well, that's actually a crossing, but this seems to be happening, not just in this area, but I've noticed other places as well. Why, why is that happening? Is somebody going around and knocking them like that or what? I don't know. But it's dangerous because it confuses, it may confuse, I don't know that, if that's the reason why that vehicle went through there. I mean, you could just see, like, this is coming down there, that's a sheer corner, so it's woof, just out of there, you know. There's no any warning, although I was wary because I seen the headlights, it was dark and I saw the motion of the vehicle, wasn't it slowing down. And it was just going to go right through, so I had to slow down, but I was like, what the heck, you know. But it's just a blind corner. It was just coming down there. Speed. Now, as I say, it's not... Oh, it's more people. Uh, come on. Hang on a minute. I'll pause this. Yeah, as I say, there's... Um, I just didn't want to draw. It's quite late and there's people going about. But, uh, yeah, just be wary of that. that lights shouldn't be angled like that. Um, so... And I don't know if somebody's going about knocking these lights out of alignment or what. Uh, it's not just here, as I say. I've noticed that other places around the world, Dundee. But it could be potentially, it could be potentially deadly. You know, you, you drive through a red light, that's, that's, uh, that's serious, you know. Especially on a road like that, because, as I say, it is technically 30 mile an hour. But as I say, you could bet on it that they'd be doing a wee bit, just a wee bit faster. Some of them have seen them going faster so and if you get side swiped it's not going to be in it's not going to be nice so anyway i'm kind of just going on a bit i'm going to have to just round the video off my hands are getting cold uh i just thought i'd highlight that uh, make you aware if you if you see lights that are out of line just watch for any and another thing is i said about the sun visors so you've got a green tint above your windscreen uh, so in a car it's maybe a wee bit different but if you're in a vehicle that has a flat windscreen and you're sitting higher up and the bit of the top's got the green tint on it it does obscure it filters out the red traffic light and it makes it appear that it's off or not there now, a red light should be visible very clearly for anybody especially you know red lights and that's obscuring it now, I don't know if every green tint will have that but certainly the there are some out there that does have this effect because I've, I've witnessed it. So, all right. So I went and showed the viewers. Did you? Uh, come back and froze my fingers off. And, but no, it is a point worth 
probably worth mentioning though, as I said. Uh, um, well, you were on when that when I was driving that, and you were there. I just no, hardly. You know, I was, no, I, <laughs> I was like, what? The? I mean, it could have been really nasty. But... You didn't hear what I said for the back. Oh. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's another set of lights up there, by the way. Not the ones that are, or the traffic, but there's another crossing up there that's like that. So I don't know if somebody's going about moving them deliberately or what. Or yeah, it makes you wonder. Uh, it does, it makes you wonder. But Somebody's just, got bored and just going like that. Uh, they are quite high up though, so it's they going are. to be somebody that's... Well, up on somebody's know. shoulders. Uh, it's going to take a lot of effort and they're going to get noticed. So somebody on a Saturday night. How on earth did they get them? Because that is quite high up and that wasn't like that earlier on in the day. I want to uh, know how they get traffic cones on top of bus stops and that kind of thing. How oh. did you do that? <laughs> oh, they'll find, kids will find a way. To exactly. Get in but, um... Yeah, so just say that's just something I had to point out, just make you aware of that. Anyway, I'm going to run the video off. And, uh, What's that? Yeah. So, you've got your. So did you get your video on? And your, your I've channel? got a 12 minute video. <laughs> 12, 12, mine's just probably gone on forever. You'd... That's trouble, though, went for my Santa video. So. Yeah. We'll get another one hopefully tomorrow if we see you. Oh, I, I will get that done with a few of us. Anyway, right. So, I'll, uh, I'll get this put on my channel soon uh, and just see what else I've put on my, on my channel. See what right. Okay, right. Cheers. See you later on. See ya. Bye for now.